Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or hi, welcome back if you're watching my lifestyle channel, Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news around the world, part two. So let's jump right into it. Now, uh, this uh, video is going to be about the latest 10 fabulous facts um, that I have about travel around the world. So let's get right into it. Now, this is according to breakingnewstravel.com, which is where I found the information. Um, point number one, Mandrian Oriental, Vienna, is expected to debut in 2023. Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group has announced that it will manage a luxury hotel and brand. Uh, residences at uh, Vienna Australia that is scheduled to open in late 2023 so I hope that uh, goes as well as planned and as safely as possible and um, I hope customers are looking for a luxury hotel in Vienna um, uh, really enjoy going to the hotel. Now, number two, Chocker Tours launches a new consumer app. The app, wow, users to browse the extensive actively menu offered by Chocker Tours to find the Caribbean adventurers as well as offering a, an extensive gallery of photos and videos and tour descriptions that looks absolutely fantastic and i hope that it uh, goes as well as well as planned so again it's um a fabulous idea so customers that get to know uh, what they're getting and um, and can preview the tour and its menu um uh, before they go and um number three royal princess cruises to return to uk for summer 20 one 2021 under new plans majestic princess uh, cruises will arrive on the west coast of america to set sail uh for her alaska season while Re uh, regal princess will be returning to europe yay uh, for summer uh, 2021 that's excellent news and that's I wish it um, all goes as safely and as well planned as possible and uh, customers will enjoy uh, their the cruises and uh, fingers crossed it goes as well as possible for the companies um, number four Disney World in Florida to reopen this week in Florida, Orlando. Wow, I've been to uh, Disney World myself and it is an absolutely amazing place um, that my mum and dad and my younger brother Kevin was able to go to. Um, I, were, I just turned 10 at the time. It was my birthday as well and it was just a... Um, a special event for me because it was on my 10th birthday my brother was still seven going on eight but um, again he really enjoyed it him, himself um and it's a place i'd recommend um definitely uh, to go and visit whether you're a child or an adult and um, that's 
young at heart um it is a fabulous place to go and see all the parades and um, it's absolutely fantastic and get to go on all uh, um all the rides again it's just a, a magical place with fantastic entertainers and actors really recommend it um number five at eurostar trains um is to launch a direct route to amsterdam services so that's excellent news uh, for people that want to go on holiday by train or just want to travel by euro star whether it's uh, for business or um pleasure um so i think it's excellent news and um i hope um it goes as uh, quickly uh, well as quickly and as safely as possible and people um get to enjoy it as well uh, going on the train and i think it's fantastic um that they can offer a direct route without keep changing which is uh, uh, really what i like and um a lot of people like instead of having to get off one train to get on on another etc again same with uh, bosses and coaches um so good luck to that um number six jet2.com report profitable year it uh, which is excellent news um for jet2 company uh, so well done and um unfortunately um number seven point number seven united airlines could furlough half of its workforce um i really hope it doesn't have to but um it could have to so um again pray that the people do who work for united airlines have a job uh, to go back to if they have to as soon as possible at furlough people so i'm keeping my fingers crossed there number eight the tui group it completes sales of harpang lloyd cruises so that's excellent news and um, so the tui group i'll be able to get some more um income which is excellent news uh for the company and staff um number nine to be returned to the uk screens with a brand new ad so that's excellent news for the co uh, company and i again I'm, i really wish uh them luck with the new ad it does look absolutely amazing fantastic and hopefully it will attract customers uh, to book um with them and hopefully reassure them in the future that uh, they will be safe to book with it with them in the future um and i really hope it does get them lots of sales from it um and finally a number 10 is dubai launches a ready when you are ca campaign um as the borders reopen so that's excellent news there um for dubai in the united arab emirates um again well, uh, well done and again i hope it goes as safely as possible and um 
they can reassure customers that it is safe to visit the, the country again so yay um, we have got a lot of excellent news here um, um and i really hope united airlines doesn't furlough have to furlough the staff or if they do only for a short term while the company gets back on its feet again and so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so again my next travel video is going to be on sunday this sunday and it is going to be a uh, wait a minute my travel channel updates news and also for my uh, lifestyle viewers i'm going to be also d doing a video for my lifestyle channel and it's just going to be telling you uh, what i have done to uh, both channels and also i'm hoping to get uh, my newsletter out for july 2020 this week and also what i'm going to be doing for next week and um, i will be back at work at morrison so i'm going to try and fit the vlogs round so thank you for watching i love you all you all mean the world to me viewers and subscribers so bye for now and keep safe thank you bye